Hey, it's me. You kidding? Of course I saw. The blur was all over the news. That fight was insane. I was scared Metallo almost had him this time. Yeah, um, about movie night. I... I'm gonna need a rain check this week. Yes, again, I'm sorry. Everything's okay, I'm just... I'm not feeling well, and it's probably cold, so I'm just gonna take some meds and try to sleep it off. But we can do it next time for sure, and... What? No, 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 it'll, it'll be fine. There's no need for you to come over. Besides, I wouldn't want you to catch whatever this is, too. <coughs> I appreciate it, really, but don't worry about it. I'll call you when I feel better, and we'll do lunch or something. My treat. No, you really don't. Okay, fine. If you want order delivery for me, I won't stop you, but it's really not necessary. All right, I will talk to you later. <sighs> Leave it with Natalia to room move at night again. Ah, put the sewing kit. They didn't actually say no way they did it. No way. They didn't actually order food, did they? I told them it didn't what? what are you doing here? No no no. I'm okay. It's not as bad as it looks. Really, I I can explain. Just just come inside. Ah. No, no, I've, I've got the food. I'm okay. Just, just sore. Th that's all. <sighs> you caught me. I'm not sick. Yeah, um, uh, a bunch of bored assholes jumped me on the way home. You know me. A lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Easy there. It's not that bad, but it still sinks. I would have called the cops, but those guys, um, they broke my phone before I had the chance. How I called you? Oh, uh, I picked up a new phone on my way home. Glad I got insurance. Yeah, I'm. Sorry I lied to you about being sick. I just didn't want you to see me like this. Really. Thank you for understanding. Hey, since you're here and I'm clearly not contagious, why don't we make it movie night anyways? Just let me finish patching up and we can pick out something to watch. You want to help? I... Would you mind? Normally I'd say don't worry about it, but I can't quite reach this one back here. Yeah. I'm sure it looks bad. There were four guys, after all. I didn't stand a chance. No. They... They didn't steal anything. Surprisingly. Probably just wanted to vent out after a bad day or something. Thanks. Here, you pick out a movie and I'll go set up the food you brought. Hey, <laughs> what's this? Hmm. You find a good... Where did you find that? Just laying on the couch there. Oh. Um, it's part of my cosplay. <laughs> I mean, I'm a fan of theirs, you know that. I just never showed you because of how big of a fan I was. It's, it's pretty embarrassing. Hey, Tear. Must have just worn out the seam from wearing it too much. T no, 
I don't think it matches the cut on my head. That would be crazily co coincidental. <laughs> now, don't be ridiculous. Trying it on in front of you would be absolutely mortifying. Even more so than you discovering I'm a secret giant fanboy. Come on, grab a trinket. Let's go watch something already. It's movie night. Not showing off my bad cosplay night. Come on, let's go pick a movie. Please. I have no preference here. Pick whatever you're in the mood for. Wait, no, not that one! <sighs> Would you believe me if I said it was my... <sighs> hero memorabilia collection? Yeah, I, I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't actually get jumped. I am the blur. What do you mean you guessed? How could you guess? Okay, okay. Maybe I have been canceling my plans a lot lately, particularly on nights where the blur has made the news. Yeah, and I guess my improv to business trips was also pretty well timed when the blur disappeared for a while. Okay. Fine. When you look at it like that, I guess it's easy to connect the dots. But if you knew, why didn't you ever call me out? You could have made a fortune selling that information to the paper. <laughs> Funny. That's also why I never told you. I couldn't live with myself if I put you in danger. I didn't want you to turn into a target for Metallo or anyone else. <sighs> now what? Well, you kept my secret for this long. You even kept it from me. If you can keep that, I don't see any reason why we can't keep having movie nights. Assuming you still want to. Of course, I'm not going to disappear, especially not now. <sighs> I even let you know when I was leaving the planet for a while. Granted, I didn't say the planet specifically, but I still kept you in a loop. As much as I thought I was safe to. Yeah, one last secret, even if it's just for you. I haven't had anyone I could talk to about, well... All of this. Who? Night Warden. Oh, that guy doesn't talk to anyone about anything. Now, now, just because you figured out my secret doesn't mean I'm going to diverge any of theirs. Anyways. Still up for that movie? Yes, they're seating in the high. The screens are definitely better down there, but I promise the couch is more comfortable. I mean, if you want ambience fit for that movie, my hideout is definitely better suited for it. Fine, fine. I'll grab the food and meet you down there. Just please do not touch anything. Oh, hmm. My God, he did actually fall asleep. Wow, I know the plot wasn't very good, but I didn't think it was that boring. Thank you for figuring it out. There's. A lot I've wanted to tell you for a long time. It feels good to have one last secret. I just 
really hope this one doesn't come back to bite us both. It doesn't matter. Whatever happens, I'll be right there to save you.